Hi, my name is Alberto Coromina. I'm from Barcelona, from Cyclic Beer Farm. We are two partners. Joshua Wheeler is the brewer and founder with me. He's uh, from LA originally. He was brewing in LA, and then in London in a couple of breweries. And then we started back in 2016. So we are specialized in mixed fermentation beers. Yes. Yeah. And we have basically three lines of beer, a core range. We started with Saison yeast, and we keep our house culture alive. We have four different cultures right now. And apart from the current, we have like a lot of fruit beers that we brew seasonally, one batch a year, always with organic uh, and local fruit, never purees, always real fruit. And then we have a line of uh, wood aging beers, more bready, which is uh, the funky blend that we call it. We also started doing wine like three years ago, and we got uh, quite into it. Natural wine, fully, not added sulfur, sulfur, and yeah, there we are. And so what made you get into the sour beers? We tasted one of your, uh, I think it was an elderberry beers or very solid fruit in there. How much fruit can you stuff in a beer? Well, yeah, we go pretty high rate with strawberries, for example, we put a lot. And yeah, since we have a lot of fruit in Spain, why not take advantage of it? Trying to pile a little bit of terroir on the beer, which is never easy, but step by step using more local stuff. And, and uh, what's the influence from Belgium? Do you, you know, Belgium really made a bit of sour beers and Definitely. fruit beer, we know the Three Fontaine. How did you, where was the inspiration for what you're doing in beer in Barcelona? Well, definitely my partner being from the States and observing the old Europe, no? so there is a lot of influence. And we basically started with a Saison yeast strain, but we mixed it with other two strains and that's our house culture that we have been keeping alive for like six years. And then, yes, using the, the local fruits, what the earth provides, you know. Barcelona, it's a, an amazing little beer capital now. It's taken yeah. a little while. You know, you have so much there, of course, to compete with wine and uh, the food. How is that growing? There's now about, what, four or five interesting brewers in Barcelona now, or how many? Well, I will say much more. And not only yeah. in Barcelona, but in the area. Yeah. It's, it's a lot, and a lot of bars. I actually started with a craft beer bar back in 2011 that is still open. It's called Ale and Hop. And so I've been seeing this since from the beginning, no? That's why we are doing mixed fermentation beers and not IPAs, because there is a lot of competition and there is a very good level already. Garage, for example. Yeah, exactly. So we wanted to do something different. And, well, it's also growing the scene within the mixed fermentation beers. We just had a festival recently, like a couple months ago, called Rustic and Wild in a small village up in a little bit north of Catalonia. And it was a total success, very nice ambient, a lot of people coming from all over. So it's happening, it's happening. Excellent, thanks for talking to us and enjoy Swap. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right.